Hello, my name is Emily Elo Fadrosh, and today I would like to share with you our progress over the past 19 months to develop the National Microbiome Data Collaborative. Our vision is to empower the research community to harness microbiome data exploration and discovery. And we are founded on the guiding principles that focus on data standards, data quality, data integration, and data access for multi-omics microbiome data. Today, I'm joined by my colleagues, David Hayes, Sam Pervine, Patrick Chain, Pajal Van Gay, and Kirsten Fagnan. The NMDC aims to deliver a set of unique microbiome data science capabilities aligned with the FAIR data principles, making data findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. Through leveraging capabilities, expertise, and resources across our four DOE National Lab partners at Berkeley Lab, Los Alamos, Oak Ridge, and Pacific Northwest Laboratory. We are funded as a 39-month pilot program to develop a collaborative, community-driven data science ecosystem. Our talented and diverse team is pictured here, and we leverage resources at the flagship user facilities, the Joint Genome Institute, and the Environmental Molecular Sciences Laboratory, which you just heard about from Douglas and Nigel. Our two strategic priorities, infrastructure and engagement, underpin the long-term scientific vision of the NMDC. During the first 19 months of operation, the NMDC team has focused on developing core capabilities in metadata standards for sample and environmental descriptors, standardized bioinformatic workflows to support data integration and search capabilities, prototyping an interface for data search and access, and developing a robust strategic engagement plan for research teams, scientific societies, funding agencies, and publishers. These activities have culminated in our public release of the NMDC portal and many other scientific outputs that you will hear about over the next several minutes. I'd now like to hand it over to David Hayes. Thank you, Emily. The NMDC has developed, with some degree of ontological rigor, a schema representing entities within the microbiome domain and their relationships to one another. We have based this work on existing standards and ontologies. For example, we make use of Genomic Standards Consortium Standards, the Environment Ontology, and Genome Online Database Classifications in describing samples. And we make use of the W3C Provenance Ontology in describing analysis activities. The relationships defined in the schema underlie our ability to implement search across heterogeneous data, allowing comparison across omics types. For example, search by attributes of the environmental context of the samples related to different analysis products, or by relating functional sequence annotation with observed molecules through gene products. Now, Sam will describe how we've extended beyond genomic data. NMDC can leverage the terms and definitions contained in the schema David just described to connect multiple omics data types around common entities, such as gene annotations, or their related pathways. Thus, metagenomics can inform metaproteomics analyses, which can in turn provide context for metabolic investigations, and further engage metatranscriptomics to help the user develop a more complete molecular biology picture. By then drawing in the sample metadata, we can help harmonize environmental samples across the user facility community and enable collaborative efforts across a broad scientific community as well. Next, Patrick will discuss aspects of implementing analysis workflows that generate the data we've just discussed. When comparing microbiome omics data sets from your project to someone else's, an additional challenge beyond simply finding comparator data sets is understanding how results were generated from other groups or projects, what methods were used, and can they even be compared or should the results be normalized somehow? NMDC has adopted a series of established best practice bioinformatics tools and pipelines already in use at JGI and EMSL to perform a number of routine bioinformatic operations to generate results, what we call omics data products. For each omics data type, we've integrated a number of these tools and pipelines into portable standardized analytic workflows packaged within Docker containers and coded in workflow description language such that these can now be run within any computing environment, transforming boutique bioinformatics into scalable production grade workflows. This is essentially a prerequisite to make omics data cross comparable and provides a novel capability for microbiome researchers to search across multi-omics data 
that have been consistently processed to identify taxa, genes, proteins, and metabolites of interest, and ultimately enables the vision of FAIR microbiome data that is findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. All in MDC workflows are actively maintained, documented online, and are available open source via GitHub and Docker Hub so that they can be installed and run locally. Lastly, we are planning in the integration of all NMDC workflows into the DOE KBase infrastructure and have already implemented an online environment available to the community for raw data submission to obtain NMDC compliant data products. This environment is based on the Edge Bioinformatics open source ecosystem and is currently in beta, allowing only metagenomic data processing for now. Please visit our NMDC posters for more information. And up next is Pajau, who will share results from a recent NMDC survey of the microbiome research community. Thank you, Patrick. The NMDC recently conducted a survey to get a better understanding of how researchers are working with microbiome data. We'd like to share some preliminary results. We heard from 773 people, 63% of whom had never heard of the NMDC. We heard primarily from PIs from the environmental or health sciences who are based in academia. They work with metagenomic and apicon data and primarily study bacteria. Respondents search for microbiome data sets based on sample environments or based on the omic type of interest. And the majority prefer to use a GUI for both searching and downloading of data. And while the majority of respondents are familiar with several standards, about a third had never used a metadata standard. And this was not unique to any one research community. We'd like to share a few quotes from our respondents. I'm really excited about the work the NMDC is doing. It is really inspiring. I've done several microbiome meta-analyses and less than 50% of the data sets are usable with good metadata. Please provide most of the microbiome bioinformatic workflows freely available and allocate enough free space in the cloud. We are really excited to reach out to the over 500 individuals who want to get more involved. While there are limitations to what we can accomplish as a pilot project, we look forward to using this data to inform our future directions. Next, I'd like to hand it off to Kirsten. Thanks, Pajau. NMDC is a project that aims to unify digital infrastructure and community engagement. We do this by embracing an iterative user-centered design approach. In each iteration, we start with a plan for the development, design infrastructure to meet that need, build a prototype according to the design, and then review that prototype with the user community. User research has been supported by partnership with the NSF-funded Science Gateways Community Institute. We've collaborated with them on usability testing, survey design, and data analysis. The NMDC team has adapted the prototype based on community input and today we're excited to demonstrate the first public release of the NMDC data portal. You can see that you're able to browse by studies, omics type, explore environments, and search by gene function. And now I'll turn it over to Emily Ela Fedros, who will tell you more about how you can find and see your science in NMDC. Thanks, Kirsten. Now I would like to walk through how the NMDC aims to enable scientific discovery through integration of sample metadata and process multiomics data into the NMDC gateway for search and access. We are leveraging the Facilities Integrating Collaborations for User Science, or FICUS program, which is a collaboration between the JGI and EMSL, where the research community can access capabilities at both facilities through a single proposal process. Currently, the JGI and EMSL rely on their own data management systems for sample and data handling, which presents both a challenge and opportunity for the NMDC to harmonize across omics data already generated and to build the necessary bridges going forward. We have focused effort for this first public release of the portal on three projects that span a diversity of DOE mission research areas and have generated different sets of multiomics data to support their research goals. These projects also represent data that is publicly available and align with the NMDC data policy. Lastly, this has been a collaborative effort with all three PIs, Owen Brody, James Stegan, and Kelly Wrighton, and their research teams who have worked with us to dig through lab notebooks and records for additional metadata measurements and provide critical feedback and input for the portal design process. So a big thanks for their ongoing support. 
The first science highlight we want to share is from Owen Brody's team, part of the Watershed Function Science Focus Area. As part of this FICUS project, Owen and his team wanted to address the question, how does snow accumulation and snow melt influence the mobilization of soil nitrogen through the microbiome? They have made a series of observations within the East River at the hill slope scale that deeper snowpack where soil remains unfrozen, gradual snow melt stimulates a microbial biomass bloom, followed by a crash and a pulse of nitrogen that's mobilized when plants are greening up. These analyses have indicated that volatile organic compounds are key to stimulating the microbial biomass bloom through quantitative NMR. They infer that viruses might be responsible for the microbial biomass crash and that archaeal ammonia oxidizers are responsible for the nitrification that mobilizes nitrogen release from this crash. These data are available through the NMDC portal where you can explore the available metagenome and metatranscriptome data and natural organic matter analyses as part of this project. And you can subset the data by seasonal sampling or even depth horizon by using various filters within the portal. And also explore annotated functional information, for instance, the ammonia monooxygenase subunit aging through the CAG ortholog search. In a similar vein, James Stegan and his research team, part of the River Corridor Hydrobiogeochemistry SFA, are interested in addressing the question of how groundwater and surface water mixing dynamics impact biogeochemical rates and the microbiome. They observed that the hypothesized priming effects where microbial oxidation of chemically complex matter is fueled by the addition of more bioavailable and thermodynamically favorable compounds were not at play at this terrestrial aquatic interface. Through a suite of multiomics measurements, they found that the metabolome characterized hotspots of biochemical activity and not overall microbiome composition and structure and that within gene diversity may be important to consider for ecosystem scale models. As part of this FICUS project, these data are available within the NMDC portal. And as the NMDC expands to include additional projects and multiomics data, we hope to enable cross-study comparisons so that James and his team can test these same hypotheses in other terrestrial aquatic systems. Lastly, I wanted to highlight one of the early FICUS projects from Kelly Wrighton and her group looking at microbiome dynamics in deep terrestrial biospheres as part of a shale fracturing system. Kelly's team has expanded this work through multiple FICUS projects and combining field observations with laboratory experiments. Here, I wanted to highlight the data availability statement from one of their papers, where several different repositories host the different data generated from this follow-on project, including metagenome raw reads and assembled genomes at NCBI, assembled metagenome data through the JGI Genome Portal, and proteomics data in the Proteome Exchange. Through the NMDC, we are serving to integrate these different data types through a single portal interface and access point. Last year at this meeting, we had introduced the NMDC as a new pilot program to support the microbiome data ecosystem and research community. And today our team is very excited to release the NMDC portal and the many outputs of our work over this past year. We welcome you to visit the portal to explore the available project data. We are recruiting beta testers for Edge NMDC to test the available workflows for data processing. We have a strong collaboration with the IMG team at the JGI and have made available read-based metagenome analyses through the IMG system. And we are developing collaborations with ESS Dive and KBase to support this broader microbiome data science ecosystem. So I invite you to collaborate with our team to drive microbiome science into the next phase of discovery and innovation. Thank you.